What in the world is cash flow and why should you care how it works? That's today's show. Let's dive into it. Here we are at our very first rental property. Hey everyone, I'm Clayton Morris, longtime real estate investor. I retired at 40 years old from my day job thanks to passive monthly cash flow from real estate investing. Now, I built this channel to help you do the very same thing. Now, if you just follow my steps, which is to build first financial intelligence so that you can build financial freedom. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that little bell notification dingus so you'll be notified when we publish a new video. So what is cash flow? Well, the answer will actually make you relax a little bit because I know that when I discovered the power of cash flow, I actually felt like a big sigh of relief because I'd been under a lot of stress and pressure my whole adult life. And in a moment, I'm going to tell you the three reasons why I love cash flow and why it caused me that big sigh of relief. But first, let me ask you this question. Do you ever worry about your financial future? Perhaps you're even worrying about your financial present, like today, right now. You're not alone, though. Because according to a study, two thirds of Americans would struggle to come up with $1,000 in case of an emergency. And yet another study shows that 25% of Americans are worried about running out of money during retirement. That's scary. So what, what, what do all these things have in common? Well, they tell us a big story, a huge story, that Americans are financially ignorant, that the vast majority of Americans have no idea how to achieve financial independence. It's true, don't believe me? The next time you're in a room full of people, maybe it's a dinner party with friends, you're having, you know, I don't know, group coffee or something, ask the group, say, hey, how many of you have monthly passive income from real estate or another performing asset? Raise your hands. How many hands do you think will actually go up in that, in that room? It's not their fault, though. No one ever taught them how to do it. They work their butts off. They live paycheck to paycheck. They rack up huge credit card debt, and they don't have any savings to speak of. This is a scary position to be in. And Natalie and I were in the very same position ourselves many years ago, but that all changed when we discovered the power of the freedom number. Now the freedom number is the amount of monthly cash flow that it would take for you to live financially free. And we even put it into a cheat sheet that you can download for free and figure out this number for yourself. So you can grab it at morrisinvest.com freedom, or it's in the description below. Go grab it, I'll wait. So how did we turn things around? Well, we had no assets, we were bleeding money. It took us understanding the power of monthly cash flow for all of that to change everything for us, frankly. And there are a few things you need to understand about investing before we go any further. Because in this world, there are two ways that people invest, two, two. Either they invest for capital gains or they invest for cash flow. I'm gonna tell you the difference in case you're not exactly sure what the differences are. So capital gains first. That is the one-time profit that you make on the sale of an investment. That's it. Boom. You're done. One-time sale. For example, I'll lay it out for you. Let's say you buy 100 shares of a stock for a total of 1000 bucks. Well, those shares go up in value to 5000 You decide to sell your shares. Well, the $4,000 profit you make from the sale of your shares, that's capital gains. The same applies to real estate. You buy a house for $100,000, you fix it up, you sell it for $150,000. Your $50,000 profit when you sell the house, boom, capital gains. But, and here's the real but, in order for you to make capital gains, you have to sell that sucker. So you have to actually sell the house. So you're banking on that house appreciating in value either after you fix it up or the market appreciates. Someone must pay you more than what you paid for it. So now let's talk cash flow, my favorite. So near and dear to my heart. Cash flow is an ongoing stream of income that you receive from an investment. You could receive this money on a monthly basis, a quarterly basis, an annual basis, all depending on that investment. So do you see the difference here? See if you can spot the difference. Now, I'll give you a, a second to think about it. While you're waiting and thinking about it, you can, you can hit that like button while you're thinking about it. All right, your time's up. The main strategy behind cash flow is to buy and hold, where the strategy behind capital gains is to buy and then sell that sucker. Now I know what many of you are thinking, hey Clayton, yeah that's me, what about all my stock dividends? Well bingo, that dividend is cash flow, yes it is, but we don't have time in this video to talk about the tax issues with cash flow that you get from owning stocks, but yes you are right, 
I hear you, it is cash flow. Not my favorite, but it is cash flow. Another form of cash flow is when you loan money to a new startup business. Each month, the business pays you interest on your loan. That interest is cash flow. You buy a piece of real estate and a tenant rents it out from you. Each month, that tenant pays you cash flow. So why is cash flow far superior? Well, cash flow investing is why I'm a buy and hold real estate investor after all. So let me give you an example. You buy a duplex that's two units, let's say, right? Duplex, two, I'm a genius. And then you rent out each of the two units. Every month you collect the rent, you pay the operating expenses, the mortgage if you have one, and then you've got the property managed with a good property manager, and then you end up with good positive cash flow each month. Well, can that formula bite you in the butt? Of course it can. You could pay way too much for the house, you could get crappy property management, you could get a bad tenant, you could have a lot of repairs. So is it possible to have negative cash flow on real estate? Absolutely it is. But that's why you need to build financial intelligence so that those things don't happen. You want monthly cash flow. So why does cash flow investing get me so excited? Because it has huge advantages over working a nine to five job, massive advantage, including creating financial freedom. One of the beautiful things about our financial freedom number worksheet is that it's a formula for financial independence and it's manageable at a small level, meaning we've helped tons of people buy their first rental property using non-recourse financing where they have put forty to seventy thousand dollars down. They buy a duplex with over a thousand dollars a month in cash flow from two different tenants. The beauty is that you don't need to acquire hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars in savings to do this. So if you've been brainwashed by people like Susie Orman, love her, love her books, but look, brainwash, then you need to think that saving is the only way to prepare for retirement. That's the way that you're trained to think. This is sadly what most people think of when they think about being financially free and never having to work again. That logic makes zero sense, and yet that's what we've been told to believe. Work a nine to five job, save money, retire, and live on that money. Well, the math just doesn't add up. Instead, you simply need to build up your monthly cash flow to be greater than your living expenses. I know, mind blowing, right, Susie Arman? Come on. So that's what this freedom number is all about. Once your life is no longer dictated by the constraints of money, then your time is freed up to do whatever brings you joy in life. You get to have carefree retirement. So one more advantage of focusing on cash flow is that it eliminates the fear of running out of money. You remember I said at the beginning how the idea of cash flow brought me a huge sigh of relief? Well, it's for this very reason. One concern I hear from people who have retired when I'm speaking in front of large groups is, look, I'm worried about that I'm gonna outlive my retirement account. By accumulating assets that provide a monthly cash flow, money comes in every month until you decide to sell the assets or pass them down to your family. The next reason is that you are in the driver's seat of your finances. Now, I don't like to invest in things where I have no control, especially when it comes to my money. That's why I don't buy stocks. You know, look, if some company makes a boneheaded mistake and their value plummets because of something they did, not me, right? I'm not God. And I'm also not good at timing the highs and lows of the stock market or the real estate market. I don't like the pressure and I don't know where they're going to fluctuate. So I'm not a flipper also buy a house, take eight months to renovate the darn thing, then hope the market doesn't turn before I sell it? Absolutely not, no thank you. With cash flow investing, my success is not dictated on the ups and downs of the market. I can't control Brexit or a government shutdown or something else that a Chinese trade war does. I can't control the markets, but I can control my rental property business. That's for darn sure I can. And all real estate is local. I want you to remember that. Meaning that what happens in San Francisco has nothing to do with what happens to my rental properties in Texas. So how do you start cash flowing? How do you start building towards that financial freedom number? That's what you're asking, right? Well, my first cash flow investment was a small three bedroom, one bath house in Michigan in 2013. You can watch the full video I did on that property by clicking on the card right here if you want to watch that but save it you can watch it later or now it doesn't matter look i bought that house less than a decade ago my monthly cash from the, from that house was 800 bucks a month that's not a ton of money but now imagine that having two of those that's 1600 dollars a month then a third property 2400 dollars a month and what if you don't need that money right now great you love your job start putting 2400 dollars a month away for a short amount of time 
then you buy your fourth cash flowing asset. That's how it works. You don't need millions to be financially free. You just need financial intelligence. Now, our goal when we bought that first property was to buy two per year. At the end of 10 years, guess what, math? We'd have 20 properties. Well, guess what? Now we have over 50 houses, duplexes, apartment buildings, all cash flowing and all bringing me money to buy our next asset. I guess I, re I realize now that I shouldn't have set such a low goal for myself. It should have been higher. When I retired in 2017, we didn't have a giant safe with millions of dollars. Even current. No, what we had was over tens of thousands of dollars a month in cash flow. The sad part is that our living expenses were higher than I'd like. I hate to admit this. So we had to work to pay them down or pay them off completely. Now we have no mortgages, no major liabilities draining monthly cash for us. And you can find big ways to cut back on the amount your family is spending while at the same time buying performing cash flowing assets. And today our rental properties help pay for the, purchase, the next purchases while at the same time providing our lifestyle of traveling the world and living the life that we want. Look, today I took my kids to their first day of school. I spent an hour with some parents from the school. We had coffee. Then I did some work at a coffee shop. I like a lot of coffee, as my wife reminds me. Then I did a 30 minute Peloton run on the treadmill. If you don't believe me, here's my account profile. You can see that I burned over 400 calories today. Look, I'm not tied to my desk. I don't have a boss, except for my two year old. She's my boss sometimes. And I get to schedule my life as I please. The point is that I want this for you too. A few rental properties can get you there. It can change your life. So download my Freedom Cheat Sheet right now. That link is below and I hope that it helps you. I hope that it puts you on a path to financial freedom. So what could extra cash flow do for you? I want you to leave me a comment below this video. I read all of them and I try to answer all of them. We'll see you in the next video.